Hi guys, welcome to Only Match Tutorial Point. Today we are going to discuss chapter polynomials, dosage exercise of page number fifty six, graphs. Okay, so how can how can we draw a polynomial? How can we how can a polynomial can be drawn on a graph paper? Okay. Here the given question, sir. Given uh, polynomial, sir. Y equal to x plus y in nothing but the equation of a straight line. This is in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Okay. So y equal to two x minus y is the second sum. That is also in the form of y equal to mx plus c. And this is also y equal to two x. That is also in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Where y equal to mx plus c is the equation of a straight line. So when you draw the graph, when you plot the points on a graph paper by taking some values of x and y, then you will get a straight line passing through x axis and y axis. Okay, it may not be may not cross with origin. It depends on the values you have taken. Okay, so this is in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Therefore, you will get a you will get an equation of a straight line. Because y equal to mx plus c is the equation of a straight line, so that is the the given problem is also in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Therefore, we get a straight line. Okay, let's start. Okay, so what is first one given? Y equal to two x plus y. We have to find find the point of intersection on x axis. Okay, and also we have to find the zeros of the polynomial. Zeros of the polynomial. In the previous video, we have done by using uh, step by step. In other words, uh, we elaborated. Okay, we solved as a sum. But here, based on the graph, how to identify the zeros of a polynomial? Okay. Next. Before going to plot the points on a graph paper, you have to make a tabular form. Okay. So what is given? Y equal to m x plus c. That is nothing but y equal to two x plus five. Okay. What is the equation of a straight line, guys? Equation of a straight line is y equal to m x plus c, where m is slope and c is called the y-intercept. Okay. So according to the given question, given polynomial. So what is given? Y equal to two x plus five. Where x coefficient becomes a slope, nothing but m, and constant c, okay, constant nothing but c here, c nothing but y-intercept. Actually, what is y-intercept and slope? That one you will understand by drawing the graph, guys. Okay, that one I am going to explain in the graph by drawing the graph. Then you can understand what are the what are these two concepts. Okay. Okay. So first. Okay. Before going to graph, you have to make make a tabular form. Okay. So what is given here? Y equal to 2x plus 5. First, take with minimum variable to maximum variable. So x is a variable. Y is also variable in this. So x, then 2x. Okay. Then 2x plus 5. Again, y equal to 2x plus 5. Then x y. So you have to elaborate. Elaborate. Step by step, first take x value, then two x, then two x plus five, y equal to two x plus five, then y. Nothing but x and y. These are coordinates. Now, my suggestion is better in all the graphs, you take zero and two negative numbers and two positive numbers. It's up to you guys. You can take any values. But according to my suggestion, better you take zero in the middle. You take any, you you take five values. Zero is a must, and take two negative values and two positive values for easy calculation. Now, two into x. Substitute this here x value, sir. We have taken minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Substitute this x value minus two in in this becomes two into minus two become minus four. Two into minus one is minus two. Two into zero is zero. Two into one is one. Two into two is four. Now this step is completed. Now two x plus five. 
for the given result whatever we got with for that result add plus 5 okay so here minus 4 plus 5 is equal to 1 here minus 2 plus 5 nothing but 3 here 0 plus 5 then nothing but 5 here 2x 2x we got 2 2 plus 5 that nothing but 7 here 2x we got 4 4 plus 5 is 9 okay now 2x plus 5 is nothing but y right so whatever the values we got here same values mentioned for y also 1 3 5 here 5 7 7 9 9 so these are all the y coordinates so write in the form of coordinate form minus 2 1 minus 1 3 0 and y is 5 x is 1 y is 7 x is 2 y is 9 so these are, these are all the coordinates now these points this coordinate you have to plot on the graph paper okay guys now here so before going to graph first observe that here first value is x value x coordinate and second value is y coordinate okay so in x value what is the highest value 2 is the highest value so better you take x values up to 5 or 3 and y value is 9 is the highest you can take up to 10 okay now here in the x value okay take the graph horizontal axis is the x axis okay horizontal axis is the x axis and the vertical axis is the y axis okay vertical axis is the y axis now i have taken horizontal axis values as up to 9 here positive values and minus 6 up to negative values now coming to y axis that's the vertical axis up to 10 i have taken positive values and these below values we get negative values there is no negative value for y value so i have taken up to 5 okay now plot the points on the graph paper okay guys what is your first value minus 2 1 x is minus 2 y is 1 so x value is minus 2 y value is 1 okay similarly second one x is minus 1 y is 3 x is minus 1 y is 3 okay similarly third one x x 0 comma 5 x is 0 y is 5 next one x is 1 7 1 comma 7 so x is 1 y is 7 so plot here next value is 2 comma 9 2 comma 9 okay that equal to x is 2 horizontal axis y is 9 vertical axis now draw the line by joining these points okay after plotting the points guys minus 2 1 minus 1 comma 3 0 comma 5 1 comma 7 2 comma 9 plot uh, draw a graph should meet all the points okay should meet all the points so we got a straight line right we got a straight line therefore you have to observe that which of the expression is given which of the polynomial is given is a, is in this form y equal to 2x plus y okay it will be always a straight line guys it may be either meeting the origin or not meeting the origin it's up to, it's not uh, not important so you will get a straight line by taking any values here okay okay here here x coefficient is 2 then nothing but slope guys okay and c value is 5 then nothing but y intercept so according to the graph so the straight line meeting point 5 right nothing but y intercept c value and on the x axis okay this point is meeting right what is that point this is between minus 3 and minus 2. So you will get 2.5. Minus 3 minus 2 is nothing but what? Minus 5 divided by 2. Nothing but 2.5. Minus 2.5. Nothing but slope. 
okay x coefficient this is so this is a method how to identify slope and y-intercept on the graph instead of solving okay guys so on the y-axis there is a point meeting on the y-axis right then nothing but y-intercept what is the point which is meeting on the x-axis so this is a point this is between minus 3 and minus 2 nothing but minus 2.5 okay let me solve this okay guys now after drawing the graph see the scale is also very very important here in this graph i have taken all the values as one one centimeter gap right sometimes if if the if we get the more values the graph is not sufficient then we have to take um, either even numbers or odd numbers right we have we have to skip some numbers at that time we have to take one centip uh, the unit will be twice of twice or thrice isn't it so here i have taken a unit as one centimeter guys okay here i have taken each unit as one centimeter nothing but one unit sometimes we may get more than one centimeter also that one we will discuss in the further sums so in exam you have to mention this scale also x-axis one centimeter equal to one unit y-axis equal to one centimeter equal to one unit okay then what we have to find here we have to find find the zeros of the find the point sorry find the point of intersection on x-axis and find the zeros of the polynomial okay how can we find the point of intersection we got point of intersection on the graph right but how can we solve so this is the point of intersection guys so this line is a meeting on the x-axis okay at this point there is no y value here okay so minus 2 2.5 comma 0 so how can we solve this this one you can write as it is guys by seeing the graph point now find the zeros of the polynomial how can we find the zeros of the polynomial here what is the equation 2x plus 5 so equal to 0 we get x value as minus 2.5 substitute that x value in the given equation you get y value as 0 therefore the coordinate is minus 2.5 comma 0 okay so minus 2.5 comma 0 is a slope so at this point the the straight line is meeting on the x-axis and at this point at the point 5 the straight line is meeting okay on the y-axis so these two points are very very important guys okay so again i'm going to explain for whenever the um, polynomial is given take the tabular form okay by taking any values then plot the points this coordinates on the graph paper okay then after that solve the solve these two sums solve these questions right this step this step question will be expected for essay type okay i hope you understand this sum in the next video we are going to discuss with next sum of same graph thank you for watching